Meg originally started playing with boys because she had gotten dragged to her brother's practices all the time. She kept on looking at the other end of the field where there were U12 boys playing, and so I asked her, do you think you're better than those boys? And she said yes, so I went and asked the coach, can she go train with him? And he said, sure. I said, if you're that good, then go play with him. At first, when Meg was, uh, when she began coming to practice with the boys, the boys were a little skeptical. This was this girl, this little girl, pint-sized girl, coming to play with these boys. But eventually, they began to realize that she was a soccer player, first and foremost. And they began to respect her ability and her skill and her understanding. And she just uh, meshed well with the team and in the practice sessions. And it, she overcame that challenge um, beautifully. Meg holds her own by, I think, learning to play because she has two brothers that she constantly fights with. And, you know, when she gets out on the field with the boys, she just, she just takes it to that level, to the next level, when she really wants to compete. She wants to compete against the best players. She loves playing in the speed that they play, and she likes to be creative, which, of course, the boys are very creative out on the soccer field. The boys don't really care with whom they're playing. So boy, girl, you earn their respect, and that's what it's going to be. They're not going to cut you any slack, and you're going to earn the respect, and they don't care. First day, I actually seen her play before, so I knew that she was pretty good, but uh, I thought I was kind of excited to play, you know, just to see how she competed with the boys and everything. First time she stepped on the field, I took it as hard as I did any other player, because I didn't want her to think of us as any good or worse as her, but uh, I took it as hard as I could, and she did just as well as I thought she would. I think the, the benefits that Meg has um, experienced over the last few years playing with all boys teams has been that she has learned to play the game at a much quicker pace, um, not, not just from a skill standpoint, but from a physical standpoint, with the boys being much more physical, she, she's learned to develop that, and when she plays with girls, I think it's obvious that she's playing a step ahead. I want to make it as far as I can in soccer, but my parents always tell me, like, Stop worrying about like the future and worry about like what you do now and just get better every day because if you do that then you'll make it to where you want to go. Well I would be happy, I, I love watching her compete at the highest levels because that's what she wants to do. If she were playing softball or basketball I would love it but she's doing what she really loves to do so I, I'm proud of it. I had to prove myself with the boys from the beginning like at every practice and every game. I had to do well or else they might think twice about passing me the ball or not trust me when I had the ball. I'm sure some of the guys accepted me from the beginning, but a lot of them I had to prove myself so they'd accept me as a soccer player instead of a girl.